Hey guys, and welcome back to another video by IDKO2. This one is continuing the buyer's guide theme for the Christmas holiday season. Uh, this one is for the, uh, the tech lover, the gamer in your life that wants to improve their typing experience by upgrading to a mechanical keyboard. So in this video, I'm going to cover my top five favorite mechanical keyboards under the $100 mark, um, or right around there. Um, so kicking us off uh, is the ASIO Backlit Mechanical MGK1. Uh, this one is on Amazon for uh, $104.25, but it can be found at other retailers such as uh, Canada Computers uh, and NCIX um, for $99.99 at the time of recording. So you may want to take a look at your local store. Uh, so this one, uh, I really like it because of its, uh, first of all, because uh, its aesthetics, it's very, very nice and clean. It's got a brushed aluminum backplate and a white LED with a removable wrist rest. It is a really solid keyboard thanks to its uh, anodized aluminum uh, faceplate uh, construction, which is really, really nice. Um, the keys on uh, on the keyboard itself are uh, made with genuine kale switches, so it's a really, really nice typing experience. So I thoroughly like this keyboard. You can see the wrist rest is removable. It's got a braided cable as well. So overall for quality, I, I give it a big thumbs up. So for under the $100 mark, it's a fantastic keyboard. So you might want to take a look at this one. Uh, next on the list is the Cooler Master CM Storm Quick Fire XT. This is the full size mechanical gaming keyboard uh, with uh, brown switches, Cherry MX Brown. Um, but you can likely find it with other uh, variations of the Cherry MX uh, Switch variety as well. So no backlights. This is the no frills, no bells and whistles, cut and dried, just genuinely good mechanical keyboard. This is one thing I really like about Cooler Master's Quick Fire series is they just went for quality typing. That's it. So this one's really nice. I enjoy this one, um, or I would enjoy this one uh, over the 10 keyless model, um, which I actually made it onto the list as well purely because the number pad, it's really, really nice and easy for uh, productivity tasks when you're typing numbers into a big Excel spreadsheet and stuff. And spoiler alert, but I did mention this one as well. This is the 10 keyless model of the Cooler Master Quick Fire. So this is number three on our list. Um, this one, again, just made it on because under $100, it's genuine cherry switches. Um, it does come with replaceable keycaps, which is really cool, the, the WSAD um, for the, uh, the first person shooter games, which is kind of neat. Um, some nice wire routing, again, the variations of Cherry MX switches, and overall just a good quality keyboard from Cooler Master. Thumbs up. For under 100 bucks, absolutely. Um, oh, uh, this is one thing I forgot to mention. The uh, red switches, the Cherry MX red switches, do come with a slightly different color backplate. So the, the last model was the brown switches, and you can see in the, the backplate there, it's uh, black, and this one here, it is red. So that's kind of cool. So a little bit of, a, of added flair, but again, no, no LED lights or anything. Um, fourth on the list is the Razer Tournament Edition Black Widow, or the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition. English is hard. So anyways, um, Razer's Black Widow Tournament Edition uh, doesn't, again, does not come with any lights or any bells or whistles. This is just straight up Tournament Edition mechanical keyboard. Um, but the, the Razer logo at the bottom still lights up and so does your cap, caps lock key, which is kind of uh, neat. So no USB pass-through that you will find on the Ultimate Editions. Um, but again, not 100% necessary. Uh, for a keyboard like this. This is built for, for ultimate portability. Um, so for anyone who you know that goes uh, to LAN parties frequently or runs over to their buddy's house to play some games or whatever like that, this could be a really good option for them because it's nice and portable. Last on the list is the Rosewill RK9000 V2. Uh, this one's available from Newegg for $84.99. Um, this one, again, nothing super special about it. Um, a lot of people would likely go to um, uh, perhaps uh, the Cooler Master. That's a tear. Oh, there we go. Um, they would perhaps go to uh, one of the Cooler Masters as opposed to uh, this keyboard here, but I'm going to show you a reason why this keyboard made it onto the list. And this is it right here. 
This is a PS2 to mini USB cable, because so as you can see, the keyboard does plug in using a mini USB port at the back. So this is nice for transporting. You can take the cord out and then wrap it up separately and stick it into your backpack or whatever um, without fear of damaging um, the connection between the wire and the keyboard itself. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, so the reason that this is so cool is because the, the PS2 connection does offer you some advantages over the USB connection. Now, uh, the one that I that comes to mind uh, when I think about this is if you have a fast boot enabled mode on your motherboard for your computer, uh, what's going to happen is it will cut all power to most, if not all, of the USB ports. So all of your uh, mice, external drives, and all the rest of it, they won't be powered until the computer has actually booted into the OS. Now, if you're trying to get into the BIOS to do some um, frequency uh, uh, tweaking or clock tweaking or... Um, anything like that, you won't be able to get into it unless you have um, a third-party program to send you directly into the BIOS. Now, what this allows you to do, this PS2 cable, is it plugs into your PS2 port, which will always be powered uh, by the, the, the motherboard to get you into the BIOS, whether or not it's in fast boot mode, or at least that's been my experience, and so far it hasn't failed me. So this is why this keyboard has made it into my list. Um, this would be fantastic for someone who perhaps is running a computer shop who loves the mechanical typing experience, um, who really wants a nice portable keyboard that, he, that uh, they can take to and from uh, perhaps clients' houses or something like that, but will always have access to whichever connector they need at the time. So this is super cool for under $90 even. Uh, this is a really great keyboard uh, sporting genuine cherry switches and that PS2 uh, cord, which I think really makes this keyboard. So overall, uh, actually, we're going we're gonna to go back to this one because I, I really like looking at this one. Um, overall, uh, I think that for uh, under 100 bucks, you can get a few really, really cool looking and really great performing mechanical keyboards, five of which I've listed here. If you guys have any other uh, suggestions, um, post them in the comment section below so then maybe I can cover them in a later video. Um, if you are feeling so inclined as to purchase one of these items, I do have all of the Amazon uh, links uh, except for the Rose keyboard that isn't found it's just on Newegg but I will have that one linked in the description as well uh, use the Amazon links it does give me a little bit of a kickback so then that helps me do more hardware reviews and all that kind of stuff so that really helps out a lot uh, I do have uh, a Twitter account now it's at uh, IDK underscore how to I will have that linked in the description as well so you guys can all follow for the latest uh, updates for the channel so thanks so much for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video